Alright, hello guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about that snowstorm that's coming up from the 8th through the 10th for the northeastern United States. We're two days out, so I'm going to go ahead and update you guys on this one in this video. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content. And also, make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now, let's get right into things, guys. We're looking at Noah's snowfall forecast here. Just so you know that it's not just me calling for this to happen, because that's kind of what happened in last video I made on this one. They're like, oh, you're making this up. Oh, this isn't going to happen. It, it wasn't most of you, but it was some of you. So I just wanted to show this just so everybody knows this is something that's really going to happen. The location and the intensity might vary, but it is going to happen here. And you can see this is Noah's forecast. So you can take a look at that if you'd like. Now let's get started with our risk forecast. I've been doing this for a lot of the storms recently and people seem to like it. So this is our lower chance slash snow showers region in this white Shade, we've gone a little bit further north with it, as have the models, and you guys have probably noticed that most weather sources have also gone further north with it. I would have made an update video yesterday, but I made my winter forecast instead yesterday. It was going to be very tough to find a time slot to put that in, so I decided to make it yesterday. Now, I'm updating you guys on the storm now, and this is our lower chance slash snow showers region. Now, here's our moderate chance uh, and could be major region for this blue area, area. So Portland, Bangor, Halton, Burlington, Syracuse, all these regions are in this light blue shade. You can see it's to the north of Boston now. And then our highest chance could be major region in this purple. This is where we're pretty, pretty sure we're going to see snow no matter what. Now we're about to take a look at the future cast radar according to the models, which is super exciting. Let's take a look at it right now. Now, the model we're going to be using in today's video is the NAM 12KM model because I think it does a nice job with this one. Uh, it does have some difficulties getting the storm to fully merge, and that's what a lot of the models are having. They're all having an issue of their own, and this one is having this issue. You can see this is on the morning time of November 7th, which is tomorrow. You can see we're going to have snow showers in the interior New England regions showing up. So we're going to have snow showers around during this time frame. Now, later in the day tomorrow, which is going to be, again, Thursday, November 7th, you can see moderate snow showing up for Ohio, southern Indiana, Pennsylvania, New York, and interior New England here. This is going to be, it's moving in a weird way, okay? So we're getting less of a low pressure system moving through and more of a cold front. It's, it's trying to get that low pressure system in place to where that can take over, but really you can see it's dominated by kind of a line moving in one direction rather than an actual system here. And that's, again, the issue that the 12 cam NAM is having. Not an issue as in it's having trouble picking up on what's actually going to happen, but that's the problem that it's having with getting a full-blown winter storm going, and that's what's getting in the way here. By later in the night on Thursday, you can see it's already almost moved out. We see Boston and almost Providence move over to snowfall briefly at the end there. And we still see moderate snowfall going on for Maine. Very, very interesting. And we're about to see some very interesting things take place for interior regions of Maine here. As the snow showers stick around through uh, Friday, November 8th for quite a while here. Let's move on one more to the later on the night on Friday. And you can see things are all said and done by this point. Now let's take a look at your total snowfall according to this NAM 12KM model here. And you can see we're looking at a general dusting to three inches within the blue shades. So anywhere in the blue to even lighter, almost white color shades, we're at a dusting to three inches of snow. Now as we get into those purple colors, that's where you're at three to six inches of snow. And you can see that's basically the bullseye for most areas. But you can also see that we're six inches plus for some of those interior main regions and some of the higher elevations in upstate New York. Now we're also going to take a look at multiple other models here, like the GFS model, which you can see has more intense snowfalls for New York, Vermont, and New Hampshire, but also further north with the snow line. We're going to keep an eye on the model runs as they come out here for you guys, because we're going to be updating this one for sure tomorrow and giving you one last forecast on it, as this is the biggest thing going on right now. And then here's your Canadian model. Again, more intense with the snowfall, but warmer than the NAM for sure. Coastal regions getting less snow on this model. And then our gem model. This is actually my favorite model of all of them. And you can see this one is actually the least intense with all of the snowfall, which is very, very interesting. 
Now let's get into my official snowfall forecast as we're going to take a look at how much snowfall we're expecting to see according to me in all of these regions. Now you can see we're in a dusting to three inches of snow within all of these white regions from Michigan through Ohio through Pennsylvania and into upstate New York as well as New England. Now, I mentioned in the other video that I made on this two days ago that it could head further north, and that's what we've seen happen, actually, throughout the latest model guidance. It's trending north, and I thought that that was a good chance of happening, and sure enough, that is what's happening here. So we're, we have a dusting of three inches for areas like Cleveland, Buffalo, Syracuse, just to the north of Scranton, just to the north of Boston, areas like Albany, Burlington, Portland, and Bangor, Halton, all these regions are in a dusting to three inches of snow. Now let's add our second layer here, which is our three to six inch layer of snow, which you can see is much further north than I had it. Buffalo, Syracuse, Burlington, uh, Bangor, Portland, Holton, all of these areas are in three to six inches of snow. So a lot of those mountains of Vermont, New Hampshire, upstate New York, and almost all of Maine. You saw that a lot of the models kept it really warm for coastal New England and coastal Maine, that is. I think coastal Maine will be just fine as far as getting snowfall. And then even though a lot of the models didn't have a lot of the 6 to 10 inch regions, I'm keeping it there for the high elevation areas in upstate New York, the Green Mountains, the White Mountains, and some of those very, very far eastern regions of Maine. I think that these high elevation areas and also the areas there in Maine are just going to get, you know, at least a pretty scattered amount of 6 to inches, 6 inches of snow or more. Uh, and then I think some of the mountains will get pretty widespread 6 to 10 inches of snow for sure. Now something I did want to get into a little bit is the system, if you're still in this video actually, because you probably thought it was about to end. I'm going to talk a little bit about the next snow system that looks to potentially take place around the 12th. I just want to show the model guidance on that and let you guys know that I am aware of it because I have been getting a lot of messages about this one as well, just like I did for the one on the 8th. I am aware of it and I'm going to show you guys what I've seen so far and give you my thoughts. So let's get right into that. This could be a major, major event. Now, here's your GFS model. I'm just going to show the the most intense frame here. So you can see this is the nighttime of November 12th. Very, very crazy stuff it's showing here. We The GFS is very, very known for showing crazy stuff and stuff that is outlandish and then it never happening. So I, just, I do want to put that out there first off. This model in the medium to long range does do stupid stuff. We've known this. Weather enthusiasts know this. But it does have heavy snow from southern Maryland, areas like Richmond, Virginia, or in Sleet, and even Virginia Beach in Elizabeth City. I don't think that's going to happen whatsoever. Uh, but we do see Boston, New York City. Those are areas that could realistically, potentially, actually see a snowstorm. And this isn't unheard of in November, but this is kind of outlandish for some of those Virginia and North Carolina regions for sure. Though everything's possible. Here's the Canadian model's take on it. A little less intense, but you can see there is really a storm there, a 989 millibar low pressure system, nor'easter type system. I keep going back to this, but there was somebody that told me I was crazy for thinking a nor'easter pattern was going to keep taking place. We're already seeing one about to take place on the 8th, a Miller B nor'easter, and sure enough, the models are showing more and more of these potential events. November, I said it was going to feel like winter. I didn't know this is what I was seeing uh, potential for big time snowstorms. We'll keep an eye on it for sure. Uh, we're also going to go over our, s well actually here I can show you the European model on one frame here as well, has it as well. It's a little bit further east on this one actually. You can see the Delmarva getting the bullseye there and then actually Cape Cod as well. I think that it's going to come further west if anything, if it even happens. Uh, let's take a look at that snowfall total according to the GFS and the Canadian model. Oh my goodness. When I saw this at first, I couldn't believe it. The 12Z model run is coming out right now for the GFS, so I'll be curious to see what that shows. But on the 6Z GFS run, I mean, 12 inches plus for Central Virginia and through Delaware, New Jersey, and then up through Southern New England. Again, this is six days out. I don't necessarily know if this will even be a storm. It's so far out, so much could change. We're going to keep a close eye on it, but it isn't unheard of to, for models to pick up on an event this far out and then it actually happened. Here's your Canadian models snowfall forecasting. You can see it's not too different, but this would really give the Northeast a huge November snowstorm and gives me the vibes of uh, last winter we had a storm for the Northeast. This one's a little more crazy, but we did have a Northeastern snowstorm last winter. 
or last November, and then also in 2011 to 2012, I think we had one in November as well that was very, very intense. Or actually, that one might have been October in, in, in 2011. So, I mean, this isn't unheard of, and I'll keep an eye on it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.